This brand new piece of information that we recently got from the Terra League really confirms a fan theory that's been out for years. So basically, there is a part of the Kalos region that never was released in the game. So this would be the southern part of the Kalos region, which if you don't know, the Kalos region is based off of France. Paldea is actually based off of Spain, and real world geography shows that Spain and France are connected, like they're right next to each other. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment down below what mega Pokemon you want to see in Legends EA. Any support goes a really long way, and I really appreciate it. And in this picture, which shows the southern part of the Kalos region, you could see that little stretch of land, and if you put the Paldea map next to it, it looks exactly like how a real world map of Spain and France looks. It's kind of insane, and it makes me wonder, like, why was the southern part of the Kalos region even scrapped? A lot of people think it's because it was probably going to come out in Pokemon Z, which, if you don't know Pokemon Z, would have been, like, the third, the extra game for X and Y, but they scrapped it. I'm pretty sure they were actually, like, in development of... Pokemon Z like they actually started developing that game and like story writing it and they just scrapped it because typically the third Pokemon game never sold well like Pokemon Platinum or Crystal which is kind of funny to look back on because the third games are typically like the fan favorites like people usually love the third games more than the first you know two games it's just because it has some extra content and stuff like that so Pokemon Z probably would have given us the southern part but also it could be because maybe Game Freak thought that the Kalos map was too big and they just kind of wanted to make it a little bit smaller. We don't have any official reason as to why they scrapped it, but I think this is pretty cool. And even though, like, obviously 10 years ago when Pokemon X and Y came out, they probably weren't really planning on this specifically. But if you think about it, they probably already know the next couple of generations, like, where it's going to be based on. I mean, I don't know how early they start talking about that. But at the same time, it's just kind of obvious. Like, if you have a map based on Spain and then you also have one based on France you know, it's going to be connected to each other. And that's exactly what they did, which I think is just so cool. Going on with that, though, like, I'm wondering if Legend ZA is going to have some sort of connection with the Paldea region, like, or if it's going to have any connection with any other game. I mean, obviously it will, like, indirectly, but I mean more in a sense of, like, a direct connection. Like, this character is from here, and he's also in this game, or, you know, like, some sort of real confirmation direct connection because i know usually in pokemon games like you know they they usually have some sort of small connection such as like you know cynthia is in black and white in the post game content which is cynthia's from gen 4 so like there's a connection right there and there's usually some characters that pop up here and there that like are from other regions and everything like that which is awesome i love the connections and stuff and i want to see more but i mean like some sort of true connection because we know apparently that the art style of legend ZA is pretty similar to scarlet and violet which i made a whole video on this it's actually my most recent video so check it out if you haven't but it doesn't mean that the graphics are going to be a one of one like replica from scarlet and violet to legend ZA. like scarlet and violet the art style was kind of like a pastel light color palette in my opinion and obviously the graphics weren't weren't amazing i don't expect ultra realistic graphics or anything like that like i'm not expecting the world's best graphics but it's no secret that the Scarlet and Violet graphics were pretty questionable. The textures were just meh. Legends Arceus was great. I think the textures and the graphics of Legends Arceus was amazing. And there were also some other leaks that suggested Generation 10 is actually going to have like an actual direct connection with Scarlet and Violet, which is really interesting. So that makes me think that they're kind of going to have some sort of connection with the Paldea region. We know that we had the Blueberry Academy in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, which is in Generation 5, which... That was a connection right there from Gen 5 to Gen 9, which is pretty cool. I think it'd be kind of cool, like, if maybe we had some sort of, you know, gym trainer or something that would be the closest one from the border of Spain and France that showed up in the in the Kalos region. Legends EA is going to be based on Lumio City. Like, we don't know how much of the Kalos region we're going to get. I mean, it's definitely going to mostly have the Lumio City, which is based off of Paris, if you don't know. And I think there's going to be some sort of wild areas. I mean, there has to be, like, some wildlife area. You know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine the game only being taken place in the city. But I'm really excited for it, though, because I think that having it based in the city is going to be super cool. And I'm, I'm excited to see, like, the scale and how they're going to pull it off. Because I'm just excited to see, like, where we're going to be able to catch wild Pokemon. And how the story is really going to commence. And, like, about, are there going to be, like, underground tunnels and stuff like that? I feel like there are so many different aspects of this game that they really are taking into consideration and i'm pretty excited to see how it turns out and with southern kalos apparently there were two more towns we would have had two cities 
four dungeons and eight routes. So, I mean, that would have been a lot more content. I feel like X and Y was really good, though. I know a lot of people are a little disappointed with X and Y, but there also are a lot of people that love X and Y. Like, I say X and Y gets more praise than hate. I personally really like X and Y, so I would have loved to have the Southern Kalos part in the game, but you know, it's fine that we didn't. I'm just excited that we're going back because Legends EA was a total curveball for me. I was not expecting to get a Gen 6 Legends game so suddenly, especially with all the rumors that were like about Gen 5. Like everybody was sold on a Gen 5 Legends game coming out next. And I guess moving on from that, another cool thing that we learned recently is that the only confirmed official Mega Pokemon that never made it was Jinx, which is kind of insane to think about that they only had one Mega Pokemon that never made it into the game, which is Jinx, a Mega Jinx. It makes sense because I think Jinx is a scary Pokemon. Jinx is kind of insane, and I don't even want to know what a Mega Jinx would look like. What's crazy though is apparently Mega Flygon never was made, like they never made it. So I remember the leaks a couple years ago, people said that there was a Mega Flygon in the works. Maybe they talked about it, it was probably something in the in like talks I guess. I mean, I'm sure they talked about a lot of other Mega Pokemon. Like, I'm sure there are a lot of conversations and stuff that really weren't saved in the files. Like, I don't even know why half of this stuff was saved. Like, why were they saving conversations about, like, a Generation 3 alternate storyline? Which I'm not going to get into because that stuff is kind of crazy. But it's just interesting to think, like, what are the Mega Pokemon do they talk about? And what are we going to get with Legends EA? I'm wondering, if, like, what the leaker knows. Like, there must be so many things that the leaker knows. And the leaker stated that he is not going to release anything new about Legends EA or Generation 10. I believe he said both. I, I'm pretty sure we're not getting any more news. Which, I don't know how true that is. You never know. We may get some new information about Legends EA soon. I mean, I think that we could take a lot of, like, the X and Y leaks that are coming out and pretty much kind of make some assumptions for Legends EA, though, because there are so many things that they're probably going to take from the original storyline, like the unreleased storyline or the Pokemon Z storyline, they're going to probably implement into this game, and we know we're getting Mega Zygarde. I'm assuming we're probably going to get like 10 to 15 new Mega Pokemon in this game, which I'm really looking forward to seeing and getting some official trailers with a brand new Mega Pokemon in it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is pretty crazy, and I I'm just excited to see if we ever get a Southern Kalos because... I don't know when we'd ever get another Gen 6 game. We could never get another Gen 6 game, but... Or it could be like another 10, 15 years before we get some other game based in Generation 6 or the Kalos region. It could really be anything. I, I have no idea. I'm just excited to see what the future holds for Legends EA in the Kalos region. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would have liked to see the southern part of Kalos region, because I know I definitely would have, but... But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to stay tuned for some future videos.